Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to discuss about the comparison between half-wave rectifier and center type of full-wave rectifier and the bridge full-wave rectifier. Now, let's see the, the comparison between each and every rectifier. Now, if you see, this is the half-wave rectifier circuit diagram, which is having only one diode. This is the load resistance. The input voltage is AC. Input is AC we are giving. Okay, now if we take the center tap full wire rectifier, in center tap full wire rectifier also, we are giving AC supply, but here there are two diodes here. Diode D1 and diode D2. And this is called as a load resistance. Here only one diode. If we take the bridge full wire rectifier, in bridge full wire rectifier, there are four diodes. D1, D2, and D3 and D4 and it is a load resistance RL and it is an input AC supply here. In half rectifier only one diode, in center tap to full rectifier we are using two diodes, in bridge full rectifier there are four diodes we are using. This is the first difference. If you take the waveform, in half wave rectifier only positive off cycle is processing to the output here, only positive off cycle will be conducting here. If we take the voltage waveform it is, it is zero pi up to 0 to pi only it is conducting from pi to 2 pi there is no conduction here again 2 pi to 3 pi uh, output uh, output is processing here input is processing to the output from 3 pi to 4 pi there is no conduction again from 4 pi to 5 pi there is a conduction it is with respect to omega t only positive off cycle is processing to the output here there is no conduction in the negative off cycle that's why it is called as a half wave rectifier this is the waveform of the half wave rectifier if we take the center tap to full wave rectifier, in center tap to full wave rectifier also same. Uh, but here, positive off cycle, negative off cycle, both are, both are processing. That's why it is called a center tap to full wave rectifier. It is both positive and negative are processing here. From pi to 2 pi, it is a conducting. Again, from pi to 2 pi also, it is conducting. 0 to pi, it is conducting. Pi to 2 pi also, it is conducting. 2 pi to 3 pi also it is conducting and so on. Okay, both the positive and negative off cycles are processing to the output here. That's why it is called as a full wave rectifier. This is the waveform of the center tab full wave rectifier. If you see the bridge full wave rectifier, it is also same as a center tab full wave rectifier. Okay, it is a voltage waveform. From 0 to pi it is conducting and pi to 2 pi also it is conducting. 2 pi to 3 pi and so on both positive and negative off cycles are processing to the output. That's why we will get the both the cycles are conducting. So these are the waveforms of the all the rectifiers. Now, if you see the average value, the average value of the half wave rectifier is V average is equal to Vm by pi we will get. If we take the center tap to full wave rectifier average value, V average value is equal to 2 Vm by pi. And if we take the Bridge full wave rectifier. In bridge full wave rectifier, V average value is equal to 2 Vm by pi. As the waveforms of the center tap full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier is same, we will get the average values are same here. If we take the RMS value of the half wave rectifier, average value of the half wave rectifier is Vm by 2. And the RMS value, RMS value of the center tap full wave rectifier is Vm by root 2. Okay, so this is the RMS value of the center tap full wave rectifier. Now, if we take the RMS value of the bridge full wave rectifier, VRMS is equal to Vm by root 2. So, these are the RMS value of the half wave center tap to full wave rectifier and the bridge full wave rectifier. If we take the ripple factor, ripple factor of the half wave rectifier is 1.21. And the ripple factor of the center tap to full wave rectifier is 0 0.48. And for the bridge full wave rectifier is 0 0.48. Same. For the center tap to full wave rectifier, bridge rectifier, we will get the same here. The peak inverse voltage of the half wave rectifier is Vm. And the peak inverse voltage of the center tap to full wave rectifier is 2 Vm. And the peak inverse voltage of the bridge full wave rectifier is Vm. Okay. Now we will see the efficiency. The efficiency of the half wave rectifier is 40%. In a center tap to full wave rectifier, efficiency is 81%. In the bridge full wave rectifier, is efficiency will be 81%. For the center tap to full wave rectifier and bridge full wave rectifier, the efficiency will be same. Now, if you see the transformer utilization factor, 
ट्रांसफार्मर यूटिलेशन फैक्टर ऑफ हाफ वेव रेक्टिफयर इज फार्टी पर्सेंट इन केस ऑफ सेंटर टाइप फुल वेव रेक्टिफयर द ट्रांसफार्मर यूटिलेशन फैक्टर इज एटी वन पर्सेंट एंड द ट्रांसफार्मर यूटिलेशन फैक्टर ऑफ द ब्रिज फुल वेव रेक्टिफयर इज ऑल्सो सेम दट इज एटी वन पर्सेंट ओके नाउ इफ यू सी द फॉर्म फैक्टर द फॉर्म फैक्टर ऑफ हाफ वेव रेक्टिफयर इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन द फॉर्म फैक्टर ऑफ सेंटर टाइप फुल वेव रेक्टिफयर इज वन पॉइंट वन वन and the bridge full wave rectifier is 1.11 only okay now if we see the peak factor the peak factor of half wave rectifier is 2 and the peak factor of center tap to full wave rectifier is root 2 and also the peak factor of bridge full wave rectifier is root 2 okay if we observe the all the differences except uh, this uh, in in come in center tap to full wave rectifier and bridge full wave rectifier except peak inverse voltage okay remaining all are same here so these are the differences between the half wave rectifier and the center tapped full wave rectifier and the bridge rectifier 